In this video, I show you how to update your BIOS so you can stay up to date on the latest fixes and features. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to update your computer's BIOS. So what exactly is a BIOS? Well, it stands for Basic Input Output System and it's a little tiny chip on your motherboard about this big that has a little bit of software in it that takes care of the first hardware check. So looking for drives, looking for uh, like your mouse and your keyboard, and then is responsible for booting up the operating system. So you can see how important it is to keep that little piece of software updated because they may have some new fixes for it, they may have some new features that your board may offer, so keeping that up to date is pretty key. So we're gonna head on over to the machine. I'm gonna show you how to first check the BIOS version that you have on your machine, and then you, from there you can kind of determine if you need to update it. So with that being said, let's head on over and get started. To get started, you're gonna wanna check your BIOS version first to see if you even need to update it. So to do that, what you want to do is go to your start menu, just type in system information, hit enter, and it will run the system information app. And it's going to look something like this. If I resize this real quick, you come on down to where it says BIOS version and date, it's going to give you your BIOS with the version, which in this case is 3405. And it was released on February 1st of 2021. Of course, you'll want to take this information and match it on your manufacturer's website and make sure that either this version is the latest version. If it's not, then you can then you know that you need to update it. So in this case, we're gonna take 3405. You also may want to take note of your manufacturer and also your product. So I've got a Prime X570 Pro in this one. And we're gonna to wanna to make note of that because we're gonna to want to go to your manufacturer's website and compare the BIOS version for that on their support page. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna open up a Google Chrome window. And in this case, I'm going to go to Asus. And we're gonna go to their support page. Just giving us some more information. We're gonna go, you can search the product right here so we could take the X570 Pro. So if we just type that, X570 Pro. You can see the product is right here. We'll click on that. Again, this should work for most manufacturers. Yours might be slightly different. Every manufacturer kind of has their own way to update the BIOS. Obviously their website's gonna be slightly different. So you'll want to probably get out your manual just so you have a record or something that you can reference in case you, uh, some things slightly vary. So we're gonna to go to the drivers and tools on Asus's website, and we're actually gonna click on where it says BIOS and firmware. We're gonna click on BIOS and firmware, and you can see that there actually is a new version that was released on March 12th of 2021, so about four days ago. Also take note that some BIOS updates do need to have incremental updates. So you'll want to read through this description and see if it states anything that you'll need to update to a certain version first, and then, up to the latest version. Once you have found the BIOS uh, version that you need to update to, you'll click download. It'll download it into a zip file. And this is where you're going to need a USB flash drive because we're gonna be able to put this file on the flash drive, boot into BIOS and update from there. So let me go ahead and grab a flash drive. And it's also a good idea that these files are the only files on your drive. That way, if there's any type of reading problems or anything like that, the BIOS can specifically read it. So you can see that this is actually the drive that I use for to update to these versions of this BIOS before. So what I did is I'm actually gonna delete these off it. I'm going to open up that zip file right here. So you can see I've got the zip file that we just downloaded from Asus's website. I'm going to copy this. Actually, I'm just gonna take these files, I'm gonna drag and drop them on the root of the USB drive. They're not in any type of folders, they're not zip folders, they're nothing. They are literally just on the drive. So we just click on USB drive and it's got these two files listed right here. This is what the BIOS system is going to read is this specific file right there. So now we're going to reboot the computer into its BIOS. Quick pro tip, updating the BIOS will delete any settings that you have made and return them to a default state. So make sure you have any settings that you've changed documented so you can go back in later on and uh, redo them. Another thing that you'll want to make sure you do is plug the USB directly into the back of the motherboard. You don't want to be using any type of USB hubs or anything like that. And also make note that your motherboard may have a specific USB port that you use in order uh, to update the BIOS. And it will typically have like a circle around it or some lines around it and say BIOS on it. You'll want to use that specific USB port if your motherboard has it. We're gonna hit F7 on this ACES motherboard. Like I said, yours might be a little bit different just depending on your manufacturer. 
we're gonna hit F7 to go into advanced mode. Now at the top here, you can see we've got a bunch of different tabs. We're gonna come all the way over to the tool option. And then we're going to use the top option where it says Asus Easy Flash 3 Utility. We're gonna hit enter on that. And you're gonna to wanna to search for the drive that you used that uh, we put the, the files on. So we're just gonna look through these storage drives right here on the left. Now you can make this a little bit easier by unplugging every kind of like external drive that you have. If you have any type of like uh, SD cards or anything plugged in, you can unplug all of those flash storage devices to kind of slim down this list. Um, if you don't see it, you will want to make sure that you've got the USB plugged in before you do the restart. And yeah, this, so this was a 64 gig drive, so I can see that FS2, which is about 61 gigs, is the drive that I had. And you can see the file that we've got right here where it says Prime X570 Pro Asus 3602.cap. That is the BIOS file, so I'll actually go down to that one and hit enter. And it's gonna say, do you want to read this file? We're gonna click yes. It's gonna ask, do you really want to update the BIOS? It's gonna give you the BIOS information and then you'd click on yes. Depending on your system, it can take anywhere from you know five to 20 minutes, just depending on how big the update is. So you'll want to be patient. You'll want to give yourself some time and of course, make sure nothing will turn the computer off. Shutting a computer off during a firmware update is a bad idea, it's a bad thing. Once the BIOS is updated, the PC will probably reboot one more time and you are now hopefully up to date. Anyways, that is all I have for you on this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope at least one of you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe because those three things certainly help us grow our channel. If you wanna help grow our channel in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We've got a lot of cool merch over there from pens, stickers, hoodies, things like that. So be sure to check those out. Thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one. Peace.